In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to use and how to connect a variable resistor. Um, if you look at the variable resistor, there I have my knob or spindle which I'm going to turn. And there on the other side, I have my three terminals. The two on the sides is my end terminals, or that is what we call them, and then I have my center terminal. Now the way this should be connected is by connecting the center terminal and either one of these uh, end terminals. Only then you will be able to vary the resistance. If you connect these two end terminals in a circuit, it means then you're going to use this uh, variable resistor actually as a fixed resistor. So I'm going to show you now how you need to do that or what happens when you connect the center terminal and the end terminal and the two end terminals. All right. So already we have that on my ohm scale. So I'm going to connect my one lead on the end terminal. There I have that. And the other lead I'm going to connect on my center terminal. So now I can turn my spindle or knob. And you can see that my resistance is actually varying. Right, so I'm going to take the one lead of my center terminal and I'm going to connect it to my other end terminal. So let's see what happens. There immediately it gives me 21.6 kilo ohm. Um, the actual value of the potential meter or variable resistor, if you can see that it's 20 kilo ohms. Uh, it gives a little bit more on the tester, but that's fine. But you will see if you vary it now, it's not going to go less than 20 kilo ohm. And there we can see it's not actually varying just a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, it's not going to go less than 20 as I'm saying, which means it acts as a fixed resistor at the moment. And that is not how we want to use this variable resistor, meaning that I'm either going to connect the center terminal and one of the end terminals and then we will use this variable resistor as it should.